Hello there everybody, it is Sunday the 10th of September 2017 and welcome to this show. How on earth are you? Hello, it's me Andy back with another brand new edition of Andy's Shed Life for this Sunday the 10th of September. Um, a very fast show tonight because I have literally just sat down. I am just back for my Heritage Open Days uh, for 2017 around Sheffield where we've been doing guided tours, believe it or not. Yeah, guided tours around some of the historic streets are around Sheffield and uh, we've been doing all kinds of things. So a big thanks if you've uh, been along on any of the tours that we've been doing over the past four days. It's been a massive amount of fun and we only got a little bit wet with the rain, just a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's been, a, it's been a good old weekend it has. Um, but I'm absolutely worn out now, so apologies if I'm a bit old bleary-eyed on the old uh, camera here tonight. So yeah, that is that is Heritage Open Days. That is what we've been doing. And the walks that we've been doing, you can get online if you want to have a little look at what we have actually been up to. Um, go here and have a look at it. HTTP SheffieldWalks.Coldpress.net That's our own website about it. That's the, uh, that's the website that we put up about uh, Heritage Open Days. You can go on there and have a look at that. Or if you want to get onto the Heritage Open Days official site, I think it's still available after the event. You can find it at heritageopendays.org.uk and you can go and have a look there if you so wish. Find out what we've been up to around Sheffield there over the last four days because we have actually been quite busy. It's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Right, on the show tonight, as I say, it's just a quick one tonight. We will hopefully be back to a little bit more like normal next week. Um, but we're going to start this evening with a question that's come in. Um, and this is a telephone related question. It came in, it came as a comment on one of the, uh, on one of the videos that we've got up here on YouTube. And uh, here it is. It's from Suzanne and she says, Hi, I have an old Belgian YA RTT copper kettle type phone that I would like to convert for modern use. The inside looks nothing like the ones I've seen in these videos. Any idea on how to convert it? Hmm, right. That is an interesting one, is that? Um, right. And Suzanne, right, I believe, I believe that what you've got is one of these. If I can pick it up. I believe what you've got is one of these, Suzanne. Is it anything like that? It might be copper coloured, the bits on this that are black might be copper, it might have got a copper body, your one. But is it anything like that if I put it down here? You might be able to see a little bit better. There, if I shove that up there, can you see that now? Right, and then that handle goes down there. Awesome. Sits flat. Is it one of those? Because if it's one of those, and I think it is, um, then it's a little bit complicated because there's lots and lots of different versions of them. There's a heck of a lot of different ones. They all look very similar on the outside, but on the inside, they're actually all quite different. And Pippa the dog here agrees with me. She, she's, uh, she's here standing at the side of me going, yes, I agree with that. Um, but yeah, if it's one of those, then what you really need to do is take the base off it for me and have a look inside. Now, the way you get the base off, the way, the way you get the base off this one, is you just take out these two screws. In fact, let's see if we can, let's see if we can do it on air. Now, I probably need a bigger screwdriver actually to do this than the one I've got. Well, I might be able to just about get away with it. Yeah. So my hands always get in the way when I'm doing this. Every single time my hands get in the way. Yeah. Alright, 
So we just take out those two screws. So just take those out. Like that. And then the bottom should just come off. And what we want to know is what connections you've got inside yours. Because I don't know if we can see that. Can we get that in the in the light a bit? You see those connections down there? Yeah, can you see those? Right, we want to know if you've got connections, anything like that, and if they're marked in any way. So, if you have, or even if you haven't, but if it's one of these phones, can you take a photo of the inside of the phone and, uh, and get it to me somehow? If you get onto our website, Suzanne, uh, over at Andy's shed. Just let me just let me find you the uh, find you the website on here. It is there. There it is. There's, there's the website. AndyShed.CoalPress.net. Get onto our website and uh, send me a private message through the contact us thing on the website there. And um, if you send me your email address. Um, then I can email you back with my email address and stuff and uh, then you can send me a photo through on the uh, on the private email and it won't bung all the other servers up and things um, but yeah basically I would uh, I would like to know what connections you've got there um, inside the phone I'd, l I'd like to know what's in there okay these uh, these connections down here does it look anything like that at all or does it look completely different because there were lots of different versions of these phones and they had lots of different insides to them as well so without a bit more information I can't really work it out but we should be able to help you somehow um, once we know exactly what uh, what version of this it is that you've got okay so that website address that's also the place to go to if you uh, want to talk to us about anything else if you want to drop us a line or anything um, feel free to do so get on that website while I put the screws back in the base of this phone and um, have a little chat to us uh, you can send me private messages and that on there and uh, we can uh, we can normally help you with your queries and things by doing that. Right, I'm just putting the screws back into the bottom of this phone that I've just taken out. And I've got one inside it. Nuts. Now, it's live, isn't it? It always happens when it's live. Every single time. Yeah. Always, every time when it's live, something like this happens. Right, I'll take that one out again. And I've just noticed you don't have to take them right out because there's like a little slidey thing. So you slide it like that and they'll come out. Duh. And there's the one that I dropped inside it. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it on before I put the base on. Just in case I drop it inside it again. Okay. So if I put that screw back there and just screw it part way in like that and I've just noticed there's a way of sneakily putting the base on a bit out of place like that and just slide it into position there and then tighten it up. And I never noticed that about this phone before. I never noticed we could do that. So that's brilliant, isn't it? So yeah, Suzanne, to uh, to answer your uh, your question that you uh, that you had there, basically we just need a bit more information about exactly what your phone's like inside. So take those two screws out from inside it, and once you've uh, done that, take a picture underneath, and then. Uh, get in touch with me to get my email address and we'll get you to send in the picture and then 
hopefully we'll be able to work out what's going on. I've said this before on this show as well, but it is worth saying again. These phones are incredibly heavy. They really, really are heavy, these. Um, so if you do, don't drop it on your toes because you know about it. All right, I'm putting it back where it was. Pippa the dog has disappeared because she knows how they are. <laughs> so don't drop it on me. Right, so yeah, that's the question that we've had back in while we've been uh, while we've been off air last week, of course. Um, right, uh, a few little housekeeping things to tell you about today. Hello, Pippa's back. A few little housekeeping things to tell you about. Um, I've already told you um, about our website which is here andyshed.callpress.net but remember if you want to become a patron of this show or indeed of the Andy Shed channel we now have a Patreon page and you can get over and find it here at patreon.com forward slash Andy Shed and there's all kinds of goodies you can get for yourself on there by becoming a patron it starts at just one dollar a month uh, wherever you happen to be in the world, it's one US dollar a month, and uh, you can uh, you can join us there on Patreon. So that's that. Right, back to the thing, and back to what is coming up over the next few weeks. Now you may have. Uh, been watching a couple of weeks ago when I said we're going to have a new show starting a new hopefully weekly show maybe even more than weekly in September it's called Andy's Travels and it's where I go out and about um, doing all kinds of weird and wonderful things the length and breadth of the UK and I really do mean the length and breadth of the UK we've got some big trips coming up in the next uh, couple of months or so it all starts all being well in around about a week and a half from now but i'll tell you more on the show next week because we are going to record one of the first episodes next sunday immediately before we come here and do this all right because we're here and doing this next sunday but I mean, if you want to come along on episode one and meet us then you can and the way to do it is really, really simple. Go to Meadow Hall at 10.15, let me get this right, 10.15 next Sunday morning at Meadow Hall Transport Interchange, right? 10.15, Meadow Hall Transport Interchange next Sunday morning and get on the new tram that turns up. No fare, it's free to travel on it. They will have a collection bucket on board for a local charity, so we encourage you to chuck something in the collection bucket. But I am hoping to be there on the inaugural run of the Sheffield tram train. It's going to be uh, starting next Sunday. Did I say Saturday before? Sunday, anyway, Sunday. Um, and it will be running at 10.15 from Meadow Hall next Sunday morning. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to be on board so if you want to come and see us and we'll be shooting an episode of uh, Andy's Travels there as well so if you want to come and see us next Sunday 10.15 Meadow Hall Interchange and then that tram's going to be going up and down on the Super Tram Network till about 3 in the afternoon I think we won't be on it all the time but we're hoping to be on it at 10.15 for Meadow Hall so if you want to come and say hello please feel free to do that Right, what else have we got to uh, have we got to tell you about? Um, oh yes, I know. Um, if you are in the Sheffield area as well, um, and the trams aren't your thing, maybe the Sheffield Collectors Club is your thing. We are back with Veb. Um, not next weekend but the weekend after okay not next weekend but the weekend after so next sunday it's 
tram train at Meadow Hall and then the Sunday after that we are back with Sheffield Collectors Club over at Kellam Island Industrial Museum and they've got a very special event on there called uh, Down by the Riverside that we are going to be at in two weeks time two weeks today and we will be rushing back from down by the riverside to come back here um, to do the live show and we might even have a report from the riverside event if we can get back here fast enough and get it edited quick enough to get it out on the show in a fortnight's time so there are just a couple of the things that are coming up if you are in the area if you are anywhere around sort of south yorkshire or north east derbyshire here in the uk and uh, if you're not remember then uh, if you're further away remember you can always get in touch with us as i say either get onto our website andyshed.coldpress.net or if you're watching this on youtube you can always leave a commenty thing in the uh, in the youtube section down the bottom of there right that about wraps it up for this week thanks for watching i uh, i hope you've enjoyed it as i say it's been brief but uh, we've uh, only just got back and to be honest i'm going for a lay down in a dark room i've walked how many miles have i walked this week they reckon, they reckon I've walked about seven miles a day for the last four days. And it doesn't sound much, but when you've done it four consecutive days, it don't half add up. Um, so once again, a big thank you to everybody else who has come on the walks with me. Remember to check out uh, check out Heritage Open Days um, to find out we, what we've been up to. And particularly check out our website at sheffieldwalks.coldpress.net and you might find some other walks that we're going to be doing throughout the year on there if you keep checking back over the next few months as well um, I have also quickly before we go got to say if you have been trying to get onto any of our websites and that that we mentioned on this show over the last week or so and you've been having difficulty we have been having uh, web server difficulties we have been having problems with what they call the dns um if you uh, know anything about computers if you haven't been able to access our websites over the last week or so but you have been able to access every other website in the world it may be an error on what they call your uh, internet service providers dns server the way to solve the error is switch the dns server to google's dns server if you know what to do if you don't know what i'm talking about don't try it because it's complicated um but if you do know what i'm talking about switch your uh, your uh, router's web server to uh, the google dns web server and you should find the problem will go away now whatever server you are on even if you have been having trouble with our website it should rectify itself in the next week or so but it takes so many days for the correction to what they call propagate through um, through the uh, old interwebby. So that's uh, that's one of the one of the little technical issues that we've had over the last week or so. But I hope it's not to uh, spoil the websites and that you've been trying to get on too much. Right. So that's about it for most for this week. Remember next Sunday. Get on the tram train with us, uh, quarter past ten at Meadow Hall Interchange, and then a week on Sunday we will see you at Kellam Island for the Collectors Club. But from me, for now, have a brilliant, uh, a brilliant week. And uh, as I say, I'm going for a bit of a lie down in a dark room, I think. But from all of us here for now at Andy Shed, from me, and especially from Pippa the Dog who is down here somewhere. See you next time.